Hello, how are you? My name is John Brahman of Crusoe Design Co. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick stipple brush in Procreate. This is actually an excerpt from ex excerpt, ex excerpt, excerpt. That's hard to say. That's really hard to say. This is actually an excerpt from my newest Skillshare class, Procreate 5 Brush Studio, where I go over every single setting in the Procreate Brush Studio so you can make custom brushes exactly how you want. So this is just a little piece of it. And if you like it, please do hit subscribe, hit the like button and all that good stuff. And I'll keep giving you some free content on YouTube. And if you really like it, please consider checking out my Skillshare class as well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. This is a great starting brush. It's a good one, very easy. And it shows you basically how easy it is to create your own custom brushes from scratch without going too crazy with the settings. This is actually a brush that is available in my brush set that I'm selling called Shady Character. This is basically, I have multiple versions of this. We have the sneaky stipple and the dubious dots, but we have different versions that are going to allow you to create a cool stipple brush. So I have this character that I've drawn here and you'll see that Traditionally, drawing stippling would take a very long time, but thanks to the magic of digital, we can make it much faster. Those lines, of course, will look a little bit big, but now we can get in here and we can add some texture. And not only can we do it, but I've made two versions of the brush. We have the dubious dots and we have the spaced one. So it's set to the same setting. You're going to get a nice light texture and you can experiment like so. Now I will show you how to create the brush. It is this simple. Let's go ahead and select a new brush here. And we're gonna look at our settings. If we go through, these are just the default settings once again. We're just gonna take a look and see if anything is out of the ordinary. In most cases, you don't have to go too crazy. I am seeing a opacity change here from light to dark. So I wanna go into my Apple pressure and I'm gonna set this to zero. Again, you don't need to be familiar with all these different settings right now, but what we do want to adjust is the stroke path. So we're going to crank up that spacing like so, so that we can see the individual dots. From there, all we actually have to do is play around with the jitter. It's going to randomly kind of place those dots all over the place. You can go as far as maximum, which will throw them way off the line, or you can bring them nice and closely. So we're just going to go somewhere in between. And again, our shape in this case is just a circle, but we could change that and we could change our grain. But in this case, I just want it to be a basic grain. And that is how easy it is to make your brush. So if we go ahead and click done, you can see it's very large right there. That's something that we can play around with. So now let's test out our brand new brush. It's not gonna be identical to mine, but it's going to be very similar as you can see there. And the more we lay down over here, the darker it'll get and we can play. So you get a nice gradation from dark to light. The beauty of working digitally instead of working traditional is that previously you would have to draw every little dot, 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 dot. That would take you forever. But as you can see, you can really quickly shave things in thanks to using it digitally on the iPad. So that's a stipple brush. All right, awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really quick, really easy. Stipple brushes are probably one of the easiest brushes to make in Procreate. Again, if you want to follow me, please do hit subscribe. You can check me out on Instagram and TikTok and all those good things at Crusoe Design Co. And if you enjoyed this, again, this is just only a little tiny piece of a whole new class that I made in Skillshare. It's about an hour and 40 minutes. And so if you want to learn way more, then uh, check out that Skillshare class. I'll, of course, put a link in the description below. That's it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.